Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can create a simple program using Katia macros in Katia View 5. So here I'll demonstrate how it works. So here this is the macro which I created and I named it as m.catscript and once I click this you can see welcome to macro programming tutorials by Mohammed Shakil. So this is a message box created using the Katia macros using cat script. So we have two options if you if you want to create Katia macros. One is VBA script and the other one is Katia cat script. So in this tutorial I'll be uh, talking some basics about uh, the cat script and let's get started. So to start with you have Two options one is by going to tools macros and you have the option for macros and the other one is uh, alt f8 and you'll get this uh, window and once you have this window uh, probably in your case it will be empty so you can go for create and once you go to create you have two options as I said one is uh, msvb script and the other one is cat script so in this tutorial we'll be dealing with the cat script let's go for cat script and name your uh, cat script as welcome dot cat script ok and you have the empty script over here and in order to edit it you need to go for edit and uh, once you open this you can see that uh, the starting and the ending is already filled so you need to fill something in between these two so firstly before starting up um, we need to remember some basic things so here as you know uh, the, the Kitia users uh, necessarily should not be big uh, you know need not be big programmers so this tutorial is intended uh, to teach the people who have no idea about programming and I'll be talking about the basics so firstly I'll type dim so dim you can understand dim as call call now I'll put k call k as string so what does this mean so uh, the programming language uh, doesn't understand uh, letters or uh, numbers or anything so we need to tell the programming language that the variable k k is a string so what is a string we know what is a string and the programming language also know what is a string string it can be numbers or uh, letters alphabets etc so dim k as string is the first thing that you can uh, you can announce now the next thing is what is k so now the program programming language knows what is uh, what is k so now I'll define k k is welcome to get here macros tutorials by you need not write Mohammed Shakil. You can write your name also over here. So this this particular thing which is inside this one will come exactly how you type in this. So that's what. And now the uh, the programming language knows that uh, they have to when I call upon K they have to show this. Now what do we call upon or how how do we introduce this K? we need to introduce this k as a message box so msgbox and we need to define it as k so that's how the k comes in our in our scene now just click here and go for a run and welcome to ktm macros tutorials by Mohammed Shakil. that's what i've typed and you can edit it as I said 
this uh, this can be numbers also so string is numbers as well as uh, alphabets so run and you get that 99 there so the numbers also work so this is a tutorial which, which uh, gave you a slight idea how to uh, run a macros create a macros and uh, how to execute a simple macros uh, like a welcome message in the message box I hope you enjoyed the tutorial uh, subscribe to my uh, videos and uh, uh, give me more supports please give me more supports to create more and more tutorials in the coming days thank you so much and I hope you enjoyed it